During World War II, soldiers didn't have biometric scanners, encrypted keypads, or Wi-Fi-enabled locks to protect their bunkers. Yet many of their improvised security methods still remain unmatched in reliability and cunning. This isn't some nostalgic look at the past. It's a reminder that sometimes the old ways don't just hold up. They outperform what we call advanced today. In this video, we'll uncover one of the most ingenious World War II bunker security hacks that outsmarts modern smart locks, how it worked and, well, how you can actually adapt it today in your own home or survival setup. It starts with a problem every soldier faced, keeping intruders out without electricity. During the war, bunkers were hidden deep in forests, under barns, and even beneath ordinary houses. They held weapons, documents, and most importantly, people. Power was unreliable, batteries were scarce, and any light or sound could give away a location. Locks with keys were risky because keys could be stolen, copied, or forced. The Germans, British and Soviets all experimented with mechanical defences that required no power, minimal parts and maximum deception. One such trick became infamous among Allied field engineers, the pressure sequence latch. The pressure sequence latch was the original mechanical code lock, silent, unbreakable and invisible. The concept was genius. Instead of a visible lock, a section of the bunker's doorframe was rigged with hidden pressure plates. These were not high-tech devices, but recycled metal strips, ball bearings and springs arranged to respond only when pressed in a specific order or pattern. Step one plate before another and the latch wouldn't release. Step them in the right order and the mechanism unlocked quietly. No keyholes, no visible switches, no way for an intruder to guess how to open it. Engineers found that by embedding these plates beneath wooden planks or behind false panels, they could create a nearly invisible locking system. Many versions were designed so that even if someone discovered the plates, they couldn't tell which one came first, or whether one needed to be pressed, twisted or weighted. It was a mix of physics, patience and pure wartime ingenuity. Here's where it gets brilliant. It wasn't about locking, it was about deterring. Unlike modern smart locks, which advertise their sophistication, World War II engineers hid their security entirely. The absence of a lock became the lock. Intruders searching for a keyhole or control pad found nothing. That confusion bought time. Time for a guard to react or for the intruder to move on, thinking the room was ordinary. This principle, deception over display, is honestly one of the most valuable lessons modern security designers overlook. Even today, you can adapt this philosophy at home or, say, in a bug-out location. Instead of relying solely on visible deterrents like cameras or digital locks, consider mechanical solutions that blend into the environment. A concealed latch under a shelf, a hidden deadbolt behind a removable panel, or even a pressure-based entry that releases only when weight is applied in a certain sequence. These are modern echoes of that World War II method. The advantage? No batteries to die, no Wi-Fi to jam, and, well, no digital trace for hackers to exploit. Let's talk practicality. How to recreate a version of this World War II hack in a modern setup. Start by understanding the mechanics. The pressure sequence system relies on spring tension and directional release. 
you can replicate a simple version using modern parts from a hardware store. Here's a straightforward example. Mount three pressure plates under a wooden threshold or in the frame of a door. Each plate connects to a spring-loaded latch through a hidden lever. Only when plates are pressed in the right order will the final latch retract. You can even build redundancy by making one plate a dummy, triggering a false click that makes an intruder think they've made progress when they haven't. For survivalists or off-grid setups, this design is, well, pure gold. It doesn't rely on visible technology, it's immune to electromagnetic pulses, and it can be crafted from metal scraps or basic mechanical parts. If you're securing a shed, an underground shelter, or even a panic room, this method keeps your entry system invisible and fully functional without any external power. And just like the original World War II bunkers, it works flawlessly in silence. This method also teaches a deeper principle, security through obscurity. In today's world, we tend to trust devices more than design, but every security expert knows if something can be seen, it can be studied. If it can be studied, it can be defeated. The World War II bunker engineers flipped that thinking. They removed the visible signs of security altogether. Their defense lay in not being understood. A door that looked ordinary but behaved unpredictably was far more secure than a reinforced door with a glowing keypad. This mindset applies perfectly to modern survival philosophy. Whether you're safeguarding your supplies or just protecting your privacy, the less your system reveals, the safer it is. The best lock is the one that doesn't announce itself. The forgotten hack outsmarts modern smart locks because it removes the one weakness they can't fix, predictability. Smart locks rely on power, connectivity and uniform logic. They can be bypassed by signal jamming, software exploits, or simple mechanical force. The WW2D Juddy pressure sequence latch, on the other hand, depends solely on mechanical physics and human insight. It doesn't broadcast, it doesn't need updates, and it doesn't fail when the lights go out. That's the kind of reliability you want when the grid fails or when stealth is more important than strength. To wrap this up, remember what W2 engineers proved. True security isn't about complexity, it's about control. They understood that protection was as much about deception and design as it was about strength and steel. The next time you think about upgrading your home security or prepping your survival bunker, Skip the expensive tech for a moment and think like those wartime engineers. Build something simple, silent and smart by design, not by software. If you learned something new today, hit that subscribe button and share this video with someone who appreciates real engineering over digital hype. Because at Warfield Survival, we keep the old knowledge alive. Not for nostalgia, but because it still works.